professional. <laughs> Some people think we're sponsored by Coke. Imagine that. That's all. Mm. Mm. Cool, so you've watched the video mm -hmm. on this one here? Mm -hmm. Looks all looks like what you saw in the video? Yeah, I mean, luckily it's already together. I like showed about how yeah, to put it Yeah, it's not too bad to put it together. It's like three bits, but yeah, cool. So What's yeah. this thing called again? Cause this oh. is the professional pro. And then I know this part, because all I kept thinking is when you kept talking about this part, oh. it just reminded me of the word plumbus from the Plumbus. Because <laughs> <What? laughs> it's, it's like called something weird. It's called the... What? Oh, hang on, just wait, I'll find it. Yeah, 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 please do. His name's Steve. The abrasive handle threads right into the clubs. Clubus. Clubus. Clubus? That's that part there is called a clubus. No, it's not like clubus. Listen. It's what I. Clamp goes right into the, and the abrasive handle. Threads right into the clubus. Clevis. 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 Right in the clubs. Okay. So long story short, you've watched a film about this. And my takeaway was clubs. Clevis. Clevis actually. It sounds like it says clubs. It does because of his accent. Yeah. Alrighty. Um, well, hi. We are doing today another episode of the highly popular uh, wife sharpening series. Um, reflections. So we shot the first two back to back. So since you've we've uploaded those. Um, reflections on any comments or tips or anything that you've read because I'm sure you've read all the comments. I did read all the comments but I don't know. Nothing, nothing really. Nothing jumped out at you too much. There was a certain chap who was upset that I threw the Anchorman quote at you about being a woman with yeah. a small brain. You're just a woman with a small brain with a brain a third the size of us. It's science. And so then you, always get, you always get some capital yeah. letters very serious people in the comments. You couldn't watch it because you were mansplaining it. And it's like, it's hard to, well, what it was, and he, so, he sort of had a point because. Because you asked me to leave it to rock. I you can leave this to rock. I never do because that drives me crazy, but you can leave this to rock. So, so then when you, your tip goes like that, you can, yeah. But to me, that just feels like unstable and weird. But so he had, I had a point, so fair enough. But yeah, then I'm like, how do I explain something as a man? Without it being mansplaining, and I know mansplaining is a thing, and it's like that. Mansplaining whole... is when you're trying to explain something to me that I know more about, or that you would already know, maybe. I and, don't know. And I I'm didn't just... feel mansplained too, but good, anyway. Good. But it's, it's nice, nice, nice that people yeah. get offended on my behalf. I nice, suppose. Nice, yeah, it's exactly. It's <laughs> nice that there's some white knights out there that will that will uh, stick up for your honour. Um, so, you watched the film on this workshop, professional pro adjust knife sharpener what sort of um what, what's your basic understanding of what this is for what's it for yeah sharpening a knife sure but perhaps what's the why is this why would you pay 500 dollars for this what's the what's the draw well i wouldn't but <laughs> <laughs> you can pick that angle with that thing yep and it has like all of the steps including one to fix issues and mm. the lever at okay. the end. And, uh, no, no, that, the, the, sure. it's meant to be easy, I suppose. Meant to, that's, that's it. That's probably the main reason you would spend $500. That didn't come with it, did no, it? didn't come with it, but this one did. So that's the main reason you would spend that much because it is meant to be really easy. And in my opinion, it is. But what we're testing today is if that's true, because you've never used it in your life no. and you've sharpened to this stage about three knives ever. So we're going to see how easy it really is. To, Basically, an expert at this point. Well, to get started, <laughs> if you, you know, if this, if you truly can sharpen on your first couple of goes with this, then I would say that their point is proven. Uh, what I thought we would start off with was your favourite kitchen knife, which is this more. Is this this is your favourite? Yeah, favorite yeah. sure. uh, sorry, Gary Creeley and your five hundred dollar Magna Cut. I like chisel. that one too. Know, but she, this is her favourite. It's a Mora. Uh, for uh, frosts Mora because um, their kitchen knife line seems to be frosts uh, for in made in Mora Sweden uh, this would be 12c 26 or 27 steel uh, pretty basic but you like this a lot because mainly the handle isn't it can we kill this fly please uh, yes on the top shelf oh. it's here ah! it's, always like... it's right there <laughs> it's like they it's like they jump out of the way just as like I don't know. You might have got it. They're pretty sharp. Pretty sharp those flies. Anyway, what was I talking about? Uh this. 
Yeah, so that's your favourite kitchen knife, and it's probably a good starter one because the steel isn't going to give you too many troubles. See a big chip in it. Yeah, yeah. So it's good to good to sort of uh, start. Why don't we do an edge test on it first? Pretty average, you know. It's pretty. I'm not very good at it. But our goal is to make it so that you can do that, and it actually does oh, it. Gee. Yeah, pretty bad. Yeah. Best thing about kitchen knives though is that the thinness of it really does. Even when your edge is absolutely fucked. The thinness of it all generally does do, yeah, okay, it's pretty bad. Uh, the thinness of it really does do you a lot of favours because even I haven't noticed this being particularly bothersome. I used um, it yesterday, it was yeah, fun. Yeah, exactly. So, cool, cool. All right, well, let's have you load it up and use it. And um, um, I don't remember where this thing goes. Cool, so that does. Oh, it goes on thing. Yeah, so it, it rides on there pretty much. Um, and what, what are you going to, is it 17? Yeah, 17 would be fine. So. Um, but perhaps get the knife stuck in there first and then we'll figure it out. Do you need the longer knife clamp thing or not? Uh, no, no, that one's absolutely fine. Is that okay like that? Yeah, it's okay. Um, what I generally do is um, I make the blade parallel, like the actual sharp blade parallel with like the jaws. So I make this part here, as best as you can, parallel with this part here. So it's like an like even. that way. Now, Steve is very clear. Mm -hmm. Can't leave this unattended when it's in there. <laughs> Fair enough. What would happen if you did? I don't know, you just said never leave it unattended. <laughs> you come back and you now just become like a spoon or something. Straight away. <laughs> cool, so. So then. So that goes, but Nestle, see how this is all kind of cut out and grooved out for it there, so it fits quite nicely. So, but mainly what you need to do first is zero it in. So put it on the flat desk first, so take it off, oh, and then see. turn it on top flat, yeah. So that'll come up as zero, right? Yeah. So that's your zero basic. And so now when you put it in and slot it in there, it'll oh, give you a 19. Start. Yeah. So now you can use this to wind that up and down and change the 19 yeah. to maybe a 17. Wow. What do you think? Yeah. It's cool, cool, huh? Like, and that's quite intuitive, do you think? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Well, you would have figured that out if I wasn't standing here mansplaining it to you, wouldn't Maybe you? Not, Maybe not. I just have a stupid female brain. <laughs> <laughs> say that. They think, they think I've gaslit you. That's what you do me all the time. <laughs> so, um, let's just see the security of it here. So, yeah, that's pretty. I mean, if you. I usually try and reef this as hard as I possibly can. Like, I've got female hands. <laughs> I'll stop now. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that relative. So you see what I mean? Yeah. Instead of have as much blade, try and have it as even as possible. Try and have it so the blade's pretty flat, but it's you're going to do what you're going to do. It's going to sharpen it regardless of what, you know. Nerds like me will get really fussy and make it perfect, but if you just want to sharpen a knife real good like, that's absolutely fine. So I have taken the liberty of sorting those stones from coarsest to finest. So you probably can just go down that stack. Nice. Cool. That's a lot of stack. Like, that's a lot. Yeah, you could probably skip one or two here or there. So there you go, Sid. That attached pretty well, didn't that? Yeah. Nice. So. Can I move this? Yeah, so what we can do as well is if you slide that all the way up, right, there's sometimes, you can sometimes move this back a bit so it doesn't come all the way back. Like, so you can sort of make it, add a stop to it if you want. Is that just to make it faster? Yeah, and just so it's not like, sometimes if you pull it all the way off, it falls off the blade and you end up getting this, this connects with it, you know? So, yeah, so what do you reckon you do now? So you lightly um, go like that. Yep. Feels pretty crunchy, doesn't it? Yeah, is that right though? Well, yeah, I mean, it's not how I do it, but Again, you've seen Steve the master at work. You don't so go like half sometimes, I think. Yeah, yeah. So do what Steve showed on the video. I, well, I wasn't play, paying super close <laughs> attention. <laughs> but yes, that will effectively sharpen your knife. No worries at all. Steve's like that. Yep. I feel like you're a bit more like. I really am. See, I really. You're like that. Yeah, that's what I do. Do you go backwards and forwards? I do. So he's he Steve says this. You just you just grind away a bit of the handle if not, which oh, yeah. you know it doesn't matter. But you know whatever. Yeah, that's what um. Okay. That's what. <laughs> that's, what <laughs> that's what 
that's what he does like that. Okay, cool, cool. Well, do it his way, and um, I'm sure you'll get a sharp knife. But yours is faster? It is, but I guess that's just me because I'm impatient and because I know it works as well. So, but yeah, I don't want another, um, I don't want another highly embarrassing, um, <laughs> this also rocks situation on my hands. So, you know what, you just, yeah, you just keep doing as the video instructed you, and I'll just go and sit in the cup chair. And then when there's a bird, you turn it over. Yeah, yeah, so once you feel like it's bird, you just flip it over. Yeah, so you'll be feeling for a bit under the knife. Yeah, I can't. Oh, can you feel that for me? I don't really feel much now. It does feel a bit rough and bearish, yeah, but you just, yeah, you definitely need to feel a bit more. Great. Cool. Feel free to try my way if you want, like, yeah, like it's that. It's more fun. It is more fun, yeah. Some people will be like, never go back and forth, but I like to think that my results speak for themselves, like, I don't know. And the longer you, like, if you do longer strokes, like, you'll use more of that stone. That's what I feel like anyway. Alright. <laughs> I don't hear the chickens are like, the chickens are like, don't go back and forward. <laughs> Right, it does feel a bit more like progress, doesn't it? This is gonna be one of those knives as well that needs probably a little bit of um, steel removed from it to get those chips gone. So, might be a little minute to, yeah, might be a little minute of, of doing this to get that uh, edge back to like a, get all those chips chased out. Why? How you feeling? Hmm? Well, I don't understand why the chip is always an well, because tips generally take the brunt of the knife's abuse because they are, you know, often used to pierce things and they're because of the most fragile part. They're the part you generally are the most ginger on when you are sharpening. So it's just, yeah. Do you know what? There is one thing that I do that I think will make everybody cringe. Mm -hmm. You know, when you can't open a jar. Yeah. Sometimes I take the point of, of the knife and go... Oh, uh, make a little hole in the top of the jar. It shouldn't be a massive problem because jar lids are just made of like a pot type metal, like a very soft metal that the blade should always be sharper than. But yeah, it probably is slight, slight cringe. The same people, who, the, the anti-dishwasher crowd would be very upset with you, I'm sure, but... What well, the hell is you supposed to get the jar open? Uh, well, you know, exactly. Especially when you don't have your big strong man around to, to open it for you. I think getting upset about something on someone else's behalf is it's not really setting the movement forward let's just put it that way yeah i agree i do agree i don't think it's constructive i think the internet is basically the world's most boring mmo rpg and people's characters are like the most unimaginative like you're not even you don't even get to be an elf in this mmo rpg you get to be like a a wowzer you get to be like a a i can't believe you said that person The other thing about the comments that I think is kind of cute is like all the info dumpy kind of yeah. comments where they're like two paragraphs long. Yep, just telling you something. Sometimes it's not even about what the video is about. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. They're like, it's yeah. Cute. I don't mind it. I just need to say what I'm <laughs> thinking. I need to say what's on my mind. <laughs> just dinner time for us. Yeah. So could you, because this has some deep things in it, mm. start it on the this? You absolutely could to get rid of, like if you wanted to put a rough belt on that, yeah. you could dig out those chips. You'd be putting in different angles on it because that's a convex and this is like a, a flat V. So, because the stone here is flat. <gasps> sorry, the stone here is flat and those belts are like convexing it a little bit. Right. But you could definitely use that to like chase out the chips a bit quicker perhaps. Although really, using this like real quick on a really rough stone, would almost be about as quick, I think, because these are like diamond abrasives, pretty, pretty rough stuff, really. I always wonder if I'm like breathing this shit in, if I'm gonna end up with like asbestosis, but with, <laughs> but with like S90V like steel. Like some kind of like fibrosis yeah. in your lungs. Yeah, I think I, 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 I'm hoping As long as it's enough. stainless. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> LC200, no worries. I'm sure you could clear it. Yeah. Do you know what? That's what the snot in your nose is for and the mucus in your throat. It's true. Still be stuck in there. Mix it up. Yeah, mix it up. Keep going. Other side, and we'll start with the next 
Mm. Next stone, grit down, and it'll just pull off. Noink. God. So what's the next Jeff's one say? The same well, note. what's this one say? So this one's the 320. So 220 to 320, you could probably skip 320 yes. and you can go to like. Because next one, if I remember, is 400, 400, which isn't a massive difference either. So yeah, I think that that will be fine. See, now I'm worried because now I never noticed these chips before. And now I'm like gonna try to avoid doing that. It'd Which usually is a bit be, annoying. It'd usually just be from like, maybe even opening something with it, or like, yeah, cut, it's probably from cutting into a fork or something, is most likely like, what it is. You just want to be able to use shit without like, but being can. precious about it. As I said, kitchen knife, most of the work is done by the thinness of it, like, and the edge is just like the, the edge is like the, the last 20% that makes it really, really good, you know? That's why these husk knives are a piece of shit because the, the edge is only thin to, for about a third of the way and then it's just like stock thickness and that's why they don't cut very well. Any excuse to take a big shit on husk. <laughs> so you find this fun? This is fun for you. I find this like cathartic, like, cause I know that I'm making a really nice sharp edge and cause it's repeatable, I know that I'm not really, I, I feel more secure doing it because I know I'm not screwing it up. Um, I just know that the end of this journey will result in a very sharp knife because the, if it's locked into this machine, very few things can go wrong. That was the other thing in the comments that I thought was kind of cute, is that lots of people knew about Turnip Head from my tattoo, whereas in life, oh, yeah, everyone yeah. thinks it's the Monopoly Man. Oh yeah, well that's good. Someone said that one of us had a radio head tattoo. Yeah, I don't know what one they're talking I don't know what you could construe as a radio head tattoo. Do they think the Mothman? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I don't know radio head really. So I don't, or maybe the mosquito. I don't know what radio head's insignias and motives are, motifs are. Yeah. Is it the fire? Yours are a bit more abstract. So we've got... I don't know. Do you want to do a quick tattoo? Ta ta okay, quick, so we've quick, got turnip quick, head. Quick tattoo. Turnip head from Hell's Moving Castle. Yep. This blue flame is from a book um, called The Name of the Wind. Mario, just a flower. Philip, uh, Mozzie from Jurassic Park. Mothman uh, from a podcast that I really like. And Lemon Grab. Matching from, Lemon Grab with me. From Adventure Time. Yeah. So far. So far, yeah. We're in our midlife crisis where we're sort of um, just doing, <laughs> just finally doing what we've, you know. We just know what we like now. Yeah, we know what we like. We're not super embarrassed. Making our parents cringe every time they see us. They fucking hate it. It's so good. <laughs> so, because you know, I've got Dr. Stone, I've got, um, uh, no, it's uh, Stil Stiltskin and um, Artemision, who's still the super soft. He's all blue from Final Fantasy IX. I've got, um, Cheetah from Chainsaw Man there, and then I have the Terence to her Philip, and then we both have the Lemon Grab. And I have Saitama as well, so. That's the uh, the current state of the, the arm. Um, mm. we're, 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 if it went for... Work in progress. Yeah. If, we weren't, if we weren't trying to save money, we'd be having a few more. So we've got a bit addicted to it last year, didn't we? Yep, very much. Mm. It does have kind of that like whole thing to it, doesn't it? Where it's like, uh, like in a like in like an old comedy movie where they like smash cut to someone jacking off, like um, <laughs> like Kevin Spacey at the start of American Beauty in the shower, where he's all like, "This is me, Mac Beauty." <laughs> yeah, it's got that effect like to it. I get it. The crazy thing is, this is taking so much quicker than like one of the, any of these knives here would. Like you've got when you, get, when you get your high end skills, they just take probably twice as long for every step. Mm -hmm. You can do those. Yeah, it's like. Maybe this is really boring. I don't know. <laughs> Just maybe. Maybe I should be bored. Nah, don't. Don't overthink it. <laughs> you like what you it. like. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Why do I like this? Why do I like, you know, weeding my cricket I think, stickers? It's the well, same yeah. thing. Yeah, it's true. I once went, because especially when I do use the knives and you notice the edge, it's good. Like, yeah, this this is my, my stretch. It's not my favourite knife. And when this is nice and sharp again, and I'm out like, cutting the chicken's things open. And Why is it your favorite? It's just the best in hand. I think it's, I like how it looks. I like the blade shape. It's just like, and it's, at this point, it's definitely mine. Like it's been used so much. That it's like, yeah. So, because that one's your favorite, hmm. why keep these other guys around? 
<laughs> that is the tree. That's the. That's when they try and vaccinate against this knife sickness. That's the question that the scientists need to be having at the forefront of their minds. How do we make it so one is the knife companies are like big farmer and they're like, no, 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 no. They all solve slightly they're different all problems. Different. They're yeah. all so different. Uh, it's just it's crazy how they get us. But I must admit, I've, it's been ages since I bought a knife, and I don't really feel the pull of a lot of new knife designs. So I think my involvement in this hobby is becoming more about a knife user and rather than a knife collector, um, possibly. I still have obviously quite expensive tastes in what I like, but yeah. Well, when you know, like, uh, yeah, you know, so like, you're not now going to be able to turn around, go to Bunnings and buy a pocket knife and be like happy with that. Well, no, you know better. Yeah, I guess. So, like, so. once you know, you can't. Because these you are can't all know it. these are all objectively better than things you buy for like you know under fifty oh, for bucks. Sure. But again, it's a bit like um, now I've got all the best ones. I think it has to also be a best one for me to want it in my collection. And the ones that are, like most knives that come out aren't the best one. They're just like a new type. They really are just appealing to people with like a a collectathon mindset rather yeah. than a I want to truly get a knife that's good to use. Mindset. I guess some people collect like yeah. design handbags or, exactly. or shoes, shoes, shoes or um, hair clips or anything, yeah. I don't really have a compulsion like that to collect things, do I? I have hobbies I get into intensely for a short time and then... Yeah, I mean, you you drop a lot on at the moment on those reels of that sticky stuff. Yeah, your, your, cricket your, machine. Your cricket machine. To I make got that like, for Christmas, it's the best thing ever. Yeah, to make your labels and things. And I guess that's... It, everything's a slippery slope. Most guys, it's like golf or some shit. You know? Yeah, true. Like you get, they get like their golf bag will have like nine grand worth of clubs in it by the end of a single yeah. year. Like it just gets out of Sports hand like that. Or... Oh, and that's the thing. I don't gamble and I don't really drink either. So it's yeah. like dudes will spend like a hundred bucks a fortnight on like scotch. Oh yeah. You know? Ooh, so it's, yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm not like. No, no, I know. I'm not unhappy. But I try and unwind it in my head it's as well. It's just interesting. Yeah, just try and like what's it all about, you know. It's what? like very similar. I feel similar to like Pokemon card collecting. Like it's, yeah, it's must not... do a similar like dopamine thing in the head. Yeah. There I mean, must be something to it. Pokemon cards have that element. Or, or there's two kinds of Pokemon card people. There's like people who like it for the, what's going to be in this packet thing mm -hmm. where you get, you get random cards. But then there is the people who just go on eBay because yeah. they want to buy like the best Charizard card or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah, true. That's probably like the second knife collecting is probably like that second type of Pokemon card collectors. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And every now and then you might use your expensive Charizard card as you know. Mm. Well, that's in, most people don't play Pokemon in the game, and this is a, every now and then I'll use one of my really good knives as a knife. So. Can I flip that? Do you think? Yeah, I can feel a burr. So yeah, for sure. Hang on, I've already done both sides. Have a nice. So yeah, so you could probably change, change your stain up as well. So. So these will be quite a bit lighter now. You'll feel quite like you'll feel a fair bit less um, resistance. Yeah, a fair bit less scrapey, scrapey. You know. See. Oh yeah, it's better. And these ones here, I generally spend a bit of time on because this is where you start to get a really nice finish. <laughs> right? Good news. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to sit on it, and your weight will crush it. Crush the chair. Crush the chair. I'm sorry, but if you were doing all of this like this, I know, I know, it'd be a bit take of a, a million drag, years. So say this one here, right? This one, the steel, the the stone clamps into there, and you hold this knob at the end, and the knife is there. And the knife's in these two clamps here. So this is the TS yeah. Prof uh, Cadet. Uh, this is more. This is probably another three hundred dollars more than this. What? Why? Because it's very, very well. Like, not that this isn't well made, but this is like heavy duty. I feel it. It's just like things like solid as and like everything's metal no plastic there's on no it. plastic on it at all like apart from a couple of little bits so yeah a bit more expensive again but yeah i preferred that mechanism of holding it rather than this little bit at the top there is there, there do you know what you should do there should be a way that you can like attach a drill <laughs> to like make it go automatically <laughs> <laughs> like a power drill to loud it. It's like with a decent AI and like a. <laughs> I'm not an engineer. There has to be a way to make this automatic. You know what I mean? 
<laughs> you know where my head went straight away? Where? <laughs> Sex machine. <laughs> the, the, the one for guys that you put the flashlight in and it goes... <laughs> <laughs> Take up the sex part and put the, just put the hand. <laughs> there has to be a way. So what I find, really, like, when you're doing this usually, because obviously you don't bring this into our lounge and do it while you're watching TV. Do you just, mm. like, watch a video on YouTube while you're I used it? to listen to a podcast or something. Right. Or You couldn't just do it with just you just doing this. Well, unfortunately, often I'm filming myself doing it yeah. for a video. So it's a bit like you just get in the zone and you push through and you keep going and yeah, it's, it's what it is. I could have talked a lot in this video, I'm not sure like... Yeah, I'll just cut some of it out. The key. Yeah. Because how long have we been filming for? Probably like about an hour by now, I'd say, of like a few different chopped up bits, so... This is the second half of this stone, isn't it? 600? Yeah, I can swap to swap the Android stone. Have I done? I've done both yeah. sides. And then you're after this one, you're onto your ceramic and then you're oh. strop and you're done, so... Fabulous. I'm just cleaning this um, one had so much steel schmutz on it, which is a bit gross. Was that a workshop hat? It's a workshop hat. You're so cool. <laughs> Such a shill. <laughs> workshop are the best sharpening systems. Uh, Except when we're doing. Then oh, you... actually, have they? They've all been workshop. They have been. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You are a shill. I have a shill for yeah. I've, got, I've always had a lot I of workshops. I guess you do what works. Yeah, I've always had a lot of workshop Sharp. stuff. Classic. <laughs> that being said, my longest, most used is the KME, and the TS Prof is probably actually the best. So, um, yeah, I, yeah, that's probably not supposed to be said, but yeah, like the heavy Russian ones, probably like actually the more versatile one. But then it's so expensive that this is probably the more. Well, you have to take that into account. You do. You really do. How much is that one again? Again, probably to get one here, it'd be about like 800 bucks or something to get one of those big Russian ones here to Australia. I'm having time with my life. <laughs> this one does feel like extra boring for some reason. Maybe it's because it's a simpler one to use. Yeah, you don't have to think. Yeah. And so like for me to like even be here, I feel I'm more bored. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I get I end up getting a little bit of a hand cramp, like doing it holding it in a weird pinchy way, which is again why I prefer the big old knob of the TS Pro. Oh no, you love knobs. Mm. They said not to use um, oil or anything on the strop. Oh, they just said in general, like on them the bees. Yeah, you don't use oil on the stones there for dry cutting. But the strop, you can use a little bit of this like paste or compound or something, just like a little bit of to add to the uh, polishing power. Do you think it matters? Like, I'm switching back to go to this side first. Does it matter what nah. side you do first? No, nah, not by this stage. I don't think so. So the strop is only downward pulls. That's uh, all you need to know about stropping because your blade will cut the strop if you go upward so, pulls. So that way. So that I'm way. saying, yeah, just downwards, yeah. Like that. Yep, that's like that. So I can see some shininess on that edge. Like you can oh, see yeah. it's quite reflective and polishy looking. So it's definitely done a good job, I think. <laughs> just, I just pried out with this with one of these little cheapo knives you've got here. Of course, now just pinch the actual handle and that comes away. Right, eh? So, let's see if it looks can, pretty good. Yeah, let's see if you can do one of these for us. <gasps> that's pretty good. That's pretty good, isn't it? Like, that's, yeah, so sharp compared to what it was. <gasps> isn't that crazy? That's really good. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I'm certain that's. Yeah. 
Like that's, that's so pretty good. Nice so much there. better. And that was probably an hour, but you were learning. But this is why I moved to that really fast way of doing it because it's just, it does. Yeah, just, clearly, it's fine. It, clearly, it's fine. And you know, I know they probably say that in their demonstrations because people going really fast on it, it's probably going to cause. Yeah, people, someone's going to hurt themselves or whatever, and they'll say, "Oh, we didn't teach you to do it that way." So it's probably why. But you know, as someone who doesn't work for Workshop, I've had years of success just going really fast, back and forward, up and down. <laughs> and yeah, that's that's crazy. Yeah, pretty good result, huh? Very nice. Very little effort. So. So yeah, like that's pretty easily the best result we've had so far on a sharpener, isn't it? Like 100%. you can immediately tell how much sharp that is. Not that that ma not that the stone made bad edges or that the no. you know, but that's just something completely different. Yeah, and that's that's why these are so expensive and so sought after because when you have really expensive knives, you want edges like that on your really expensive knives, you know? Yeah, I can I can see it. You get it? Yeah, that's crazy good. Cool. Yeah. Well, it's a pretty good endorsement, I suppose. I was going to get you to sharpen one of these knives, but it's just gone on forever. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Would you be confident using that? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay, well, that's good. Yeah. And that's, again, that's what these videos are sort of all about, that, like, people who aren't even into this can get these tools and use them, sharpen their knives without having to go to, like, pull through, you know, just the, the El Cheapo sharpeners that are... Oh, you can't even compare, like, the result. Mm. Yeah. Crazy. It is. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Um, next time we might, we're gonna have to do some like basic whetstone sharpening at some point, and that's Yay! that's gonna be fucking brutal. That's gonna be fucked. Like <laughs> both like at the time, and then in the comments later on, it's gonna be fucked. <laughs> like, Fine. And um, I can take it. Yeah, and it also we'll probably you know, we could try the other types of these sharpeners maybe, and then we've got the we've got the old Tormek. But what I want to do also is this one here. Is Tormek like the final boss? Tormek is the final boss because it's probably the most difficult and the <laughs> most the one you can screw up the most. But what I wanted, what I will get at some point is. I like this. This is. I can see why you're, when these are good, it's like wow. Yeah, it's super fun. So this thing here, though, this is the blade grinder attachment for this guy you used the other day, All right? So maybe we'll use this one next time. So this basically makes this little thing here into like a, a giant thing. So that, <laughs> so that makes like a proper mini belt set. You, what you do, you just yeah, do it like freehand? Yeah, pretty oh, much. Man. So what you do is say, I get my... Mm -hmm. So still the same thing. Yeah, so you might start. Like, <laughs> so that one's going to be fun, because that's like a very much potential to make complete messes of tips and everything. So See. we'll have to use my most expensive knives for that one when we do that one. That'll be, add an element of drama to it in the video. <laughs> We'll sorely need, I'm sure. <laughs> all right. Okay, well, that's all future plans. But until then, we'll see you in the next film. Goodbye. Bye.